hello hello welcome back to my channel my name is Claire you might recognize me from Instagram or TikTok today we're back on the YouTube channel and I have a very long awaited try on haul for you guys today it is going to be my annual bikini try on haul so this is all the swimwear I've either collected recently and is all new or at the end I'll have some old favorites that have withstood the test of time so this is like Pieces that as I go through my collection, which I do often, these are ones that are tried and true favorites of mine that I totally recommend to you guys. And there's still similar styles, if not the same exact ones, in stock from wherever I got them from. None of this is sponsored. Some suits are gifted and some I bought with my own money, which I'll mention as I go through them. All of them are my own opinion. I'm not being paid to say any of this. But let's go ahead and roll through the video. Okay, you might be able to hear my dog crying for some of it, but hopefully he'll get the hint and leave. I guess we'll start with Frankie's because I've had Frankie's before. So I have a couple suits that I bought during their sale. I never buy anything from them full price because it's extraordinarily expensive. I think the quality is great. Usually the fit is usually good. It's hard for me to justify $100 for a top, $100 for a bottom. I had a 40% off Memorial Day sale or something like that. So I went ahead and picked up some pieces during that. And then I also bought on resale this one, which I haven't tried. So none of these I've tried on yet, but I'll just be walking you through them and then we'll do a try-on portion as well. Starting with this one, it's a contrast stitch, which is kind of what drew me to it. I think this photographs well usually, so I'm excited to try this one out. I got this in an extra small. I kind of went between an extra small and a small, depending on what sizes were in stock. This one is called the Tia Terry top, and then the Tia Terry bottom in a small. Because it's tie, so I figured I can just adjust it to fit my waist, whatever my needs are. It's a terry cloth fabric, and then the inside is like that traditional bikini fabric. It feels nice quality. Again, is it worth $100? To me, it's impossible to find a swimsuit that's genuinely worth $100 full price. However, the sale price, which I'll also put up on the screen, it felt reasonable to me. It looks like adjustable coverage here in the cuffs, which is nice, and then adjustable in the bottoms as well. It looks like we can have a little bit of a, I was gonna say fuller coverage, so it's not full coverage, but you can make it smaller when you're tanning too. I really like this floral print. I got the small bottoms again. This is the Tia bottom. Really nice feeling swimsuit fabric. And then the top is the Tia top in a small. Again, adjustable cup sizes. Even as a small instead of an extra small, the cup sizes feel teeny tiny. A great option about a string top like this is that you can tie it around the neck like this, put the scrunch at the top, do a basic triangle top. The versatility of something like this is great. Next, I have... Apparently I was obsessed with the Tia set and I didn't even know because I got another Tia set. This fabric is called the Plit... I'm gonna butcher it. I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Plis... Plisay? I don't know. Yeah. Again, bottoms that you can scrunch to adjust your coverage. Small again for the bottom. And then a small on the top as well. Same exact fabric. Same exact style as the ones I showed earlier. It just has this like texture to the fabric. When I was looking at it, I was like, I want to get a nice quality white swimsuit because I love white on a tan. Um... I just wanted something that was a little different than like a basic fabric. So I went with this, whatever starts with a P, I don't know how to say it, um, textured fabric. This one, I love the print. This is a different style this time. It is the Katrina Terry bottom. So it's that Terry fabric again, which hopefully it holds up well in water. I don't really know. It feels like it should since it's swimwear lined to the inside, like traditional swimwear. These are super cute. I like the V cut, like the taper on the leg is nice. It usually makes accentuates the hips brings in the waist which we love this is an extra small it feels stretchy so it should be okay and then there's a seam up the back which will hopefully make the bum look nice and then the Jeanette Terry top it scrunches in the middle what size did I go with on this is small I yeah, know it should fit okay the last Frankie set is another Tia set um the Tia satin bottom pastel this is with the collab that came out with aloe from Frankie's oh this is tiny Okay, this one's a small, but it looks like, obviously, as I'm sure you can see, so much smaller than the other Tia bottom I got. I guess something to note about the aloe collection versus the normal one. This is a small Frankie's Tia bottom. Frankie's aloe Tia bottom. Teeny tiny. This fabric is cute, though, and they brought the aloe logo on the back, too. I'm not a big fan of a lot of branding. I feel like if you're buying an expensive swimsuit, like, the quality should speak for itself. It should look expensive without needing to plaster branding all over it and then here's the top i got an extra small the tatum satin top and it's got some strings that kind of like tie around your waist and stuff so we'll see it better in the trial this is a set that i bought off of poshmark from frankie's because it was never worn before vintage look to it it's got this like terry cloth bubble dot effect on it o-ring detailing it's a size extra small and then the top is extra small as well halter neck o-ring detailing and the little bubble dot 
print on it. So that's all the Frankie stuff. Next place I have stuff from is Tiger Mist. This was again purchased with my own money and it was also on sale during a Memorial Day sale or something like that. This one is the Kalia Rolla in an extra small. I tended to do really well in their sales section because it's so, so cheap. These pieces were like in the $8 to $12 range on sale and they're very nice quality too, so that's a good life hack. Okay, so this looks tiny. I have no idea if this will fit, so we'll have to see in the try-on, but it's an extra small. I like the back. I like the sporty look. My thought was when I saw it in the model was like, oh, it'll hold you in tight. It's good to like run around it if you're doing water activities, but this looks small, so we'll see. I do like the adjustability in the back. That's nice. Here's the matching bottom. It's got a scrunch on the bum, which I love. Anything to accentuate the glutes, we love here. This is the Kalia bikini bottom in blue and extra small as well. The top is looking iffy, but... The bottoms look like they'll be okay. Then I love this fabric from the Tiger Mist website. It's called the Osra Bikini Top in Neutral. I don't know why the color is called Neutral because this is far from neutral. Halter top look. A fair amount of coverage in comparison to some of the other styles I've shown. Adjustable around the neck and the back. And it's an extra small as well. I'm really in love with this color pattern. Like I just love the blue and yellow together. So cute. Also gives vintage energy. Here's the bottom. The Osra Bikini Bottom in Neutral. It's a tie waist. Super teeny tiny coverage. This might be the smallest that we've seen yet. Usually like the bottom is small and the back, or, sorry, the back is smaller and the front has a little bit more coverage, but these are exactly the same. So really small, a little bit of a scrunch in the back. Super cute though, extra small again. One more Tiger Mist set. I think I went with whatever was on, in stock for sizing. So this one is an extra, extra small bikini bottom. It's the Aggie style and neutral. Oh, we'll have to see how this looks on. I should have just, I don't know if all they had left is extra, extra small, but if they do have this in stock, in stock when you're shopping, just size up and tie it because it's adjustable. This is so small. Oh my goodness. I love the detailing though. There's like these little gem things on the straps, which is super cute. This print is gorgeous. Again, it's giving vintage, which I love. It's super trendy right now. And here's the matching top in an extra small, the Aggie style again. Just your basic triangle top. The detailing on the straps is adorable. I think the straps are pretty long, so you could probably have that adjustability of tying it around your waist. I got this little cover up. It's got these two buttons in the middle. Obviously it'll be easier to see on the try on. Also figured this with like a little micro skirt would be super cute like in black since there's black in the fabric. So she's versatile too. I love Tiger Miss cover ups especially when they match the swimsuit. So cute. So the next brand we have is Aurel. Aurel. They sent this stuff to me. I've tried their stuff before. It's been hit or miss. Some of the sizing is just big because it's like small, medium, large. So super small size selection which I don't love. But these ones are gifted so we'll see how the sizing looks on these pieces. This one I think we're off to a good start. It's adjustable in the back which is nice and then just like a clasp thing here which reads I don't know to me a little bit cheap because it's like a plastic clasp. I think these are on the affordable side so if you're looking for something affordable and trendy this is a good option. It's a ribbed fabric. It doesn't feel the best quality. The padding is definitely something I would take out because it's one of those round ones that just look really strange underneath the top if you know what I'm talking about. I do like the pattern. Here's the bottom. This one is the Henry Bottom in a size small. This one is a bit fuller coverage in the back. Obviously, it's still on the cheeky side, but it's not quite as like a thong as the rest of the stuff. It's got some like elasticity in the waistband. Family friendly option, I guess, in comparison to everything else. Next, we have the Monaco Ruched Bottom in a size small. This is tiny. Oh my god. Okay, so last time when I got the smalls, they felt on the bigger side. This stuff is tiny. Like, there's not even that much stretch to this fabric. Like, Getting this over my butt is going to be challenging. Size small, cute print. It's giving, you know, like a girly kind of junior look to it, like young, but I feel like it's cute. Much smaller coverage than the last one. That ribbed fabric. It doesn't feel that, like, high quality. It's giving something you can get on Amazon, Shein, that kind of thing. But I think the prices are also comparable to that. Again, like I said, if you're looking for something affordable, this might be a good option. The Monaco strap and top in a size small. Tiny again. God, made their sizing a little bit smaller, but I might have even sized up if I had known. I think it'll be flattering for sure. Definitely not family friendly. Thinner strapping in the back and thicker in the front. Super adjustable. And our last set from Aurel Swim. Aurel, I don't want to say it. It's the Cosmo Triangle Top in a size small. This is incredibly basic look to it. Silver hardware on the rest of the strap. You might as well make the clasp silver too because because this white plastic look is just reading as cheap and I don't love that but I don't know, I'll we'll see how it looks on. Yeah, but this blue color is nice. I think it'd look great on a tan and a more pale or darker skin tone. And then the Cosmo bottom in a size small. V taper where it's high on the leg, which usually I find super flattering. There's elasticity in the waistband. Again, there's not a lot of give to it. Something to consider though, if you have a wider hip glute uh, ratio to your waist. And lastly, we have the Cosmo ruched skirt in a small medium. I love when brands have like a matching cover up because 
if you're on vacation and you're at a pool and you want to go up to the bar or whatever, it's nice to have this to just throw over and cover up a little bit. Okay, next I have Black Bow. This is my first time being gifted stuff from them. The packaging is adorable. I hope that it's not just PR and that like everyone gets their stuff like this. Super cute. I love it. Super vibrant prints, patterns, and colors in here. I've never tried their stuff before. I went with the small and everything. We're seeing more coverage than I'm used to, but not necessarily a bad thing. Good to guess around family and that kind of thing. I don't love the plastic logoing. I find that a little bit tacky, but other than that, like the fabric feels really nice and the print is super cute. Vintage in the style and pattern. In the top to it, I think it's like a kind of a vintage aesthetic that like underwire. There is no padding in this. Size small in the top. This is metal in the back, which is nice. You guys know I don't really love it when it's plastic. I think the metal is a nice touch and then I like that it matches just the fabric too. I don't like when it sticks out too much. And adjustable in the straps. Cute. Next, I got this print, which is just like, it's giving God, like early 2000s. In the branding I saw and stuff that I would buy when I was a little kid. So I like the nostalgic feel of this. This is a bit smaller on the coverage in the back. So this is definitely more my style. It's a size small. I'll show the fabric up close. It's got flowers and butterflies on it. The top is super cute. She's adjustable so you can scrunch her in, which you know I love. The less coverage, the better. With this set, we have a mesh little top too. Like I said, I love a little cover up. Go with a swimsuit, especially for a cute picture or if you're on vacation. It's just easy when you can match. Here's another vintage print. This might be my favorite print so far. It's like 80s. This is giving Stranger Things. It's got that ruched bottom on it. Adjustable coverage on the smaller side. So size small on the bottom, small on the top too. There is no padding in this again. It's got the underwire look. I think it's the exact same style as the orange one actually. Oh my god, this is adorable. This one has padding in it. This is the first top I've seen that has padding in it from them. I love this detail like the fabric feels great quality the detailing is so cute on the top if you can see that it's like that little frilly edge on it super girly and dainty little straps and the dainty tie back is a nice touch here's the matching bottom smaller coverage on the cheeky side not, not quite a thong but close enough size small again it's got that detailing on the edges too super cute next is the last one this is cute a strapless top super soft in the fabric this one has padding too so i guess some things come with padding and some don't size small again same basic bottoms very small coverage in the back super cute print really vibrant would look great with the tans and then we've got a cover-up that goes with it oh it's a midi skirt that's so cute okay i love that because it's actually lined on the inside so it wouldn't be see-through so you could low-key wear this on vacay like as a cute set which i love i love the versatility there my first impressions with black bow is super cute i love it um we'll have to see what it looks on obviously but i like the look so far and then i have these ones to show you guys too i'd seen god saves queens all over my instagram so i got this stuff on poshmark too it was like new with tags i went ahead and tried it out i've never tried their stuff before I haven't even tried these pieces on i waited to have first impressions with you guys the fabric feels great the mesh is like a really cute detail obviously you got to be clean shaven to wear her so that's something to consider the straps are really long so it offers a lot of adjustability there this is an extra small matching top is this one it's like a one shoulder so cute i think that these are really unique designs i've definitely seen knockoffs on like other cheaper websites but the quality is definitely there it feels nice the black bow stuff and frankie stuff feels nicer quality though adjustable in the one strap and then adjustable tying on the back there's underwiring in it so hopefully it fits okay and then the other set i got from them is this one it's a black sparkly cheetah i like that the cheetah print is monochromatic so it doesn't stand out too much again the mesh detailing tie side a different style top this time much more risque as far as like the mesh goes a bunch of tie detailings we'll have to figure out how to put this on it looks like also the strap that goes around your neck can be taken off so if you prefer a strapless look that's an option with this one as well I believe that that is everything new. Really quickly, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites that are ride or die as pieces that have been in my collection for a long time. And if they're not in stock on the website, they have it in other colors. So I'm only showing things that you can still buy. Starting with this one that I'm wearing that I wore tanning today. I know the bottoms are called the Chick 80s style. This is from Boutine LA. Not sure what the top is, but it's just your basic string style top. I have this in a whole bunch of colors. This was gifted to me when I've modeled for them. It's super cute, super basic. Another honorable mention from Boutine. I really like their sporty styles. It feels secure and the tan lines aren't too much. I think it's like the sporty cut or super thong in the back. Here is the top. I think that it's super flattering, especially on a smaller chest. It pushes up well without having any padding in it, so it's still really comfortable. They run small, so I would size up if you're in between or bigger busted. Gooseberry, I love their stuff. It's very expensive. Also, I would recommend trying to buy it on sale if you can. I did pay full price for this, and I think it is worth it. It's a one piece. I, you've seen it on my Instagram before. I love it the back is a bit more coverage than some of my other styles but definitely still cheeky and 
flattering and I love the deep V in the front. It's really flattering. Shows off the girls nicely. There isn't any adjustability in the straps in the back, but I didn't find it to be a problem on me. I got an extra small. I think that their swimsuits, like bikini styles, are also really great, but if you're going to buy one nicer piece from them, I would definitely recommend the one piece. I think they're uniquely really well fitting. Another one I wanted to mention was Yolanda Swim. This is a small brand on Instagram. They're Australia based. These are gifted to me. This is one of my favorite styles from them just because that's sporty, more coverage fit. I wore this in Mexico last year on spring break and I was able to run in the ocean, play football on the beach, like held in well by it. The fabric is incredibly luxury. It feels super soft, very comparable to um, Frankie's and the quality. Ties in the back in a cute bow and it's adjustable in the straps as well. They fit really well, thong, high cut. I just find them really flattering, so that's why I wanted to throw them in there too. But I have a bunch of sets in them, and I love their stuff. I'd recommend anything from them, and the owner is really nice too. So if you want to support a small woman-owned business, that's a great way to do it. Speaking of small woman-owned businesses, I have Coral Swim too. I've done dedicated hauls to them on this channel before and shown their stuff multiple times. This is one of my favorite styles because, like I said, I love a sporty fit that's still flattering. I'm sorry about my dog. Oh my god. Hopefully it's not too loud in the back when I'm editing this. The bottoms are teeny tiny. I find them super flattering on the glutes though, so if you're into that risque, really small look, clearly she a thong thong, but they're really cute on. Yeah, I've had this one for two years now. I love it. I wear it all the time. I always pack it on vacation because I know I love how I look in it. Okay, down to the final three. Now I have one one swim. They're sending me a PR package that I wanted to get in this video, but it hasn't shown up yet, and I was like, I need to get this up for you guys. You guys have been asking for it. So here is my favorite style from them by far. If you're gonna splurge on a one one swimsuit for yourself, one, wait till it's on sale, and to definitely get this style. So this is the Jessie style. I've shown this, I think, sw exact swimsuit on my channel before, but it's one that I always go back to. They have so many cute different patterns and prints. You don't have to get the color block. They have solids in it. They have ribbed fabrics in it. They have printed fabrics, like all the great stuff. I just find them so flattering on the waist. Like this tapers in so nicely. It lays great on the hips, super flattering on the butt too. And you can also get one one swim in like different coverages for the bottom so like let's say you like the Jessie style but you want more or less coverage you can pick your coverage of the style bottom and then this is the only swimsuit that I keep the padding in it is the Jessie top I love how the padding looks I think it lifts the girls so nicely I know their website has tons of cute stuff on it there is a bunch of great options the Jessie set is by far my favorite on there next I've shown this on Instagram and then it's been a cover photo on YouTube before but I don't think I've talked about it on YouTube this is what brand is that and it is Clint a photographer that I've worked with it's his swimmer line I have hit this set in black a lighter blue with yellow flowers and then this one this one's my favorite I just love the dark blue and the yellow photographs really well it's adjustable it's tiny it's cute like I just feel confident in it so that's why I wanted to throw that one in here especially on a smaller chest I feel lifted and gifted in her it's a basic string bikini Clint's a great guy if you want to support like, his business and then also it's just a great look like I think it looks good on everyone I've seen wear it and our last swimsuit is buff bunny this is one of my favorite swimsuits from them you can use code claire to support me when you're buying from them regardless it's just this tie bottom super cute it's got these double strings which I just find flattering on the hips you can scrunch to be different you know levels of coverage which I like that versatility here's the top to go with the buff bunny bottoms I love this top because it's a basic string bikini from the front so it's like that flattering, you know, basic look in the front. And then the back has this knotted loop detailing. Like it shows up the muscular back really well. And then these strings are long enough. Wrap around, tie around your waist. <sighs> okay. Wow, that's a lot of swimwear. Holy shit. Um, all right, I gotta try this on for you guys. But I'll go ahead and do the outro now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It took me forever, I know it will, to try all this stuff on. I'll have more swimwear hauls coming for you guys in the future for this summer to give you more swimwear inspo. You definitely don't need all of this, but here's some inspiration for what you might want to look into buying this summer for swimwear. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go try all of this on. Oh my god.